Hi, my name is Andrew Rota, and the photo I'll be discussing today is Edward Rutinsky's Oil Bunkering Number no. 2, taken in the Niger Delta in Nigeria 2016. First, about the photographer. Edward Rutinsky is a contemporary Canadian photographer known for his impressive landscape photographs and his work as an environmental activist. Unlike most landscape photographers, Rutinsky takes an extreme interest in industry. It and its effects on the environment are the subject matter of most of his photographs, including this particular work. This photograph of his is an aerial shot of part of the Niger Delta. I think the first thing that really strikes me about this photo is the subject matter. Here we see a river that has been completely polluted from the waste products of illegal refinement of stolen oil in the Niger Delta. The surrounding land is dead or dying as apparent by the deathly shades of white, grey and black. In addition, I think the river itself looks much like a dead tree, furthering this theme of destruction. Through this, Rutinsky captures this devastation perfectly in the photograph. The second thing I notice immediately after that is how Rutinsky manages to take this ugly subject matter of death and destruction and turn it into this visually stunning photograph. I like how these morbid greys and blacks of the river and dying vegetation contrast starkly against the vibrant greens of untouched forest. I would also like to point out his use of a high angle shot in the making of this photograph. This has the effect of sort of flattening the image while also permitting a wider view of the destruction and its spread. Another item of interest is that his photograph was shot with a large format field camera, which allows for the sharp focus and clarity that allows you to really appreciate the detail present in the landscape. This style, prominent in all of Rutinsky's work, clearly falls under street photography. In line with street photography, this photo is also minimally edited. Rutansky, in an interview with The New Yorker, said that outside of adjustments to color, he does not usually tamper with an image. As a result, this minimal editing does not take away from the fact that the phot photograph's appeal comes from its wide range of texture, color, and detail. In addition to following under street photography, Rutinsky's work is very much social documentary as well. However, instead of covering more personal aspects of society, Rutinsky instead focuses on the industry behind it and its effect on the environment as mentioned earlier. In his own words, nature transformed through industry is a predominant theme in my work. Shown now are examples of his other works. Back to the original photograph, we can clearly see how he brings attention to the problem of oil pollution, making a statement against oil in developing countries. It is with photos like this one that Brzezinski hopes to bring attention to the environment, documenting the way industry transforms it. That said, there is a sort of irony in how he portrays these ugly and serious issues by creating beautiful images out of them.